Let's take a look at Emporia Country Club, back nine, hole nine. Now previously, the few times I played this outside of practice, my play was to take the grace, which I don't beg anymore, and try to land in this area up here. It's a pretty tight landing zone though. You got OB sidewalk to the left, OB water to the right, and particularly in adverse winds, it can become uh, pretty touchy. Uh, but the closest I have now is to the grace is the windbreak glide cloud breaker. Uh, should work on a forehand to get me somewhere up here. Let's try this and see what it looks like. And you can see that OB water on the right starting to come into visibility. I made it, but now I've pinched off like a lot of times you are got these trees in the way and gonna have to go forehand to get up here to the basket which is fine we're matching the slope of the green but we're, you know we're also throwing towards the OB water so but that's probably still a viable play just uh a little bit tricky in the adverse winds. But in preparing for this video, I think I found something better. And I don't know why I didn't see this before, but uh, I've done a lot of reps on this and it seems uh, safer, uh, more consistent, and some additional benefits we'll talk about. But uh, I take the accurate windbreak musket or accurate roll, whatever you bag, or whatever dish you have that's similar. Default aim, straight back on the forehand. And we're just going to lay up here to this FPO pad slash drop zone. And now I got a completely wide open look at the basket. But wait, there's more. I can run the eagle if I want relatively safely but as a birdie play this is a much better look uh, 380 that's going to be accurate extra glide sapphire and I go just to the right of the basket nothing in my way easy day to the birdie 24 feet so I did a lot of reps on that and I'm really liking it and you know, if it's an adverse wind, particularly, I'd much rather try to hit this target right here as opposed to this target up here, which is about you know an extra 100 feet away. So it, this works in really any wind. Uh, the only wind you got to be careful of is a three tailwind out of the left. It's going to try to carry your disc to the water OB. So in that case, I would probably go with a, uh, a warship. In my case, just disc down. It'll still get there and uh, the wind won't carry it quite as far. Uh, so you don't need to worry about OB. But you still got the same wide open look. And now we're going to have to use glide roll ride, but that's fine. Come out here to the right. And... See if I can drop one close to the basket here. 17 feet. That's doable. So, yeah. Uh, I'm really digging this, guys. Try it for yourself and see what you think. Musket. With this wind, we'll give it a little bit of hyzer. And if you can get to around 350 or so... That's a little bit far out. If you get to 350, you can run the Eagle with the glide roll drive. I'll throw it out here. It's probably going to come up a little bit short. Uh, but let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that would have been still a little bit short. But as long as I stay to the left out here and avoid these uh, bushes, um, I still got a salvageable birdie. So... I get, if I want it, I look at Eagle, and I still get to walk away with a birdie. 
So to me, that is a much better play. Uh, so now there is one more play. It's kind of definitely risky, but it's a fun one. Uh, if you have the right win, let's take a look at that. Now, if you have a uh, three tailwind out of the left and you're the kind that likes to go for it or maybe you're just down a stroke and want to go for it, turn, skip, rive on the backhand, aim towards this island, middle chevron. This is the island for hole seven. And we're going to come pretty much straight back. And this island's OB, so you better hope you get a skip. And we did. And we have an eagle look. 81 feet. This is an elevated basket. Let me see if I can make this. This is probably going to be, well, it's probably going to be like 80 feet, probably. There you go. The eagle. And that's it for Emporia Country Club. Back nine. Whole nine. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. We'll see you around the valley.